G'day, and welcome back to the 40 channel. All right, guess what, Jack? What? We're going to be sanding all over again. <laughs> so this is part two of our paint. So we won't show you as much, but uh, basically- Got a bit to learn about this 40. Basically, same process. Sand it all back, body fill it, sand it, body fill it, prime it, sand it, paint it. Because Jack loves doing it. But on top of that, we're going to go check out the panels that we've already done. And we might even give one of them a wet sand and a polish up to see how they came up. Hopefully they come up pretty good. And uh, that'll be part two. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Let's get stuck into it. There you go. One thing that I really want to show on this cruiser is when I'm finished, as I said before, I want to show the little imperfections that came out from the factory. So your little tiny spot welds, your little rivet holes, all that type of stuff. Um, your weld marks, I'd like to expose that and keep that um, showing on the cruiser. Just me. It's just like icing a cake. Should have got Alia out here for the cake decorating skills. Just getting the uh, paint off all the little brackets, hinges, every other little small component of the 40. The problem is some of these have got like six layers of paint over them. So they're a bit tricky. So, so if I can get the paint off with uh, some paint stripper, the majority of it, sandblaster will give it its last little bit, get off anything that's left. A lot easier than trying to do this, and a lot quicker than trying to do the whole lot in the sandblaster too. Jack's got a bit of an invention going on here. Bit of a school project. It's getting pretty late, we're still sanding. Right oh, no, Jack. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this looks sensational in the dark. What do you reckon, Jack, if we just take it out at night time and then no one will know? All our floors. <laughs> That'll work. Oh, I think we should pack up now. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what part you've got there? No. A hammer? It's the, <laughs> it's the bonnet stay. Oh, so like when you put up the bonnet, you're like. You stay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asleep? Huh? <laughs> this is Jack's relief time. Gets a break from the cruiser so he can shoot his bottle rocket. Blowing it all down, getting it prepped for paint. Clean all the dust off. Just cleaning out all the holes as well.
Right, we're back to sanding. So we're sanding the epoxy primer down now. Uh, we're using a combination of our uh, 120 grit, our 180 grit, and then uh, we've got a bit of a tip on Facebook about using a scotch bright pad for getting in those little tight little spots. How's that coming up, Jack? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good? Let's check it out. Yeah, that's coming up nice with that scotch bright pad. So once we're finished with this, we'll hit it with the primer again. Now I've sanded 120 and then 180. I'm just gonna go over the whole thing again with the scourer pad, just to give it a uh, last bit of a clean. It gives it a bit of a smooth up. That was a suggestion that was made to me. And then we'll throw on the acrylic primer. That is a brilliant tip, I reckon, using a scour pad to uh, just finish it off. Did you find any little spots that are uh, missing or around those really tight corners or up in those welds and those spot welds that I want to keep, I can just sort of give it a bit of a scuff up. Fantastic tip. Anyway, I've lost Jack, so... Jack! Yeah? What are you doing? I'm trying to hit it. Hit what? Cool. Guess what Jack's doing. He got bored with sanding. Okay. See, it doesn't stick in, so I need to chew it up. That's how you need to make it stick in. Oh, BJ40. So what we're going to attempt to do today is remove the uh, roll cage from in here. See how we go. Right, so we got the um, got the roll cage out, which is pretty pretty happy about that. It was a bit of monumental effort, but we got there in the end. This is all from Dale at uh, Baffus Mufflers here. So if you're keen to, if you want to chase up some parts or you need some parts, you can give Dale a ring and um, he'll work something out if you need a part from the old BJ40. So he's got the uh, the motor in there, the original motor. He's also got a uh, 2F. So you know, if you need something, give him a yell. seam seal all of these little seams before we put the uh, final coat on so I'm just using Sikaflex 227 fast curing auto sealant so uh, hopefully that'll do the trick
Friday, so we've just wet and sanded the, uh, the whole body. It's come up sensational. My dad's coming out of isolation, so he's going to give us a quick help. We'll just wipe him down, uh, final clean up with some wax and grease remover. Thanks, Dad. Not a problem. That's 40 Channel's dad. Righto, today's paint day. A little bit scared again, but anyway, everything's been sanded right back with 600 with the primer. It is smooth as a baby's butt, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, everything's laid out. I've got a full big giant clothesline full of stuff, and I'm running out of warm day. So, so when I asked the uh, paint shop about temperatures and stuff like that, he basically said that if you feel comfortable in a t-shirt, you can do it. It is bloody freezing today, but I'm putting a t-shirt on because that way I can get the paint job done because the paint shop guy said so. Anyway. Righto Jack, we've done it. After all our sanding and scrubbing and body filling and sanding and did we do any sanding? Yes, too much. <laughs> too much. All right, so the paint's finally on, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, now we're going to do a bit of polishing on it and see how it comes up. I'll just let you do that, Jack. My arms are too sore. I'm out. <laughs> Right, well, no, so that's it for another episode. Well done, Jack. Good job. Thanks. Nice one. And uh, yeah, tune in for another episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Or you can send me a message through email. I'll leave that down below as well. Anyway, until next time. Thanks for watching. Right, on today's inspirations, we're going to look at Eric's. FJ40 story. Now Eric's FJ40 story goes back somewhat nearly 35 years. Back when Eric was only 15 years old, he decided he was going to look for a car. Eric's dad said he would match him price for price on anything he'd save. Unfortunately, Eric wasn't a very good saver. He was only able to save 300 bucks and he spotted this 1974 FJ40 sitting in the back of some guy's shed. When I spoke to the guy, the guy wanted $800 for it. Eric was able to talk him down to 600 bucks. This FJ40 was in bad shape. It had been in a rollover, the window had been knocked off, there was no canopy, no back at all. So with the combination of some ski goggles and a big tarp, Eric was able to start driving this thing around. Slowly, Eric and his mates started doing up this FJ40. And they got it going pretty well. And that's where Eric's love for FJ40 started. But in 1990, Eric, decided to trade in his FJ40 for a VW Sirocco. Eric. Fast forward 30 years, Eric has started to look for a new FJ40 as a project car that he can do with his kids. Every car he looks at is either too pricey or the ones that are at his price are snapped up too quickly before he even gets to have a look at them. Throw some interest on Craigslist and it's not long before someone contacts him. The car is rough, but the price is right. Eric spends a 10 hour round trip going to pick up the FJ40 you see now. This part's the real inspirational part. Eric brings his FJ40 home, puts it in the garage, knowing it hasn't been started for nearly 20 years, sitting at the back of some guy's paddock in Washington desert somewhere, and he decides he's gonna to try to get this thing going. I'll let Eric tell the story and see his excitement. Okay, we have soak the cylinders for 24 hours, we change the oil, we drain the gas, put new gas in, drain the carburetor, new plugs, new wires, what else? It turns over. Okay, yeah. go.
congratulations, guys. That is That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. With Eric totally motivated now, he was ready to get stuck into the build. First thing to do was rip off the shoes. Sitting around in the Washington desert had not been kind to them. Then straight into the engine, pulling the carby, the thermostat, the valve cover. As well as dropping some of the fluids. The diff seemed to be full of old coffee syrup instead of oil. With Eric's daughter well and truly involved in the build, and sometimes even showing Eric up himself, the FJ40 was ready for another test run. The speedometer only ended up being a loose drive cable. As for all the rear lights, I'll let you try to figure out what needs to be done there. After masking and sanding the roof, it was time to bring it back to the original white. Eric's next big challenge was to tackle the chalky faded paint. With help from his family, they got well and truly into buffing and scrubbing and cleaning. And the results were really starting to show. After hours of cutting and polishing, as well as installing the bezel the correct way up, Eric's arms and shoulders were totally done. But the results are incredible. Eric, I really love what you've done with your FJ40. You've pulled it back out of someone's paddock that's been sitting there rotting away, and you're starting to give this thing a new lease on life. You've smashed out the mechanics, got it back out on the road, and most of all, you're doing it with your family and enjoying it. Eric, I love the way that you've brought the paint job back up. That surprised me and it looks amazing. So well done on that. I wish you all the best as you continue to get your FJ40 into a state that you're totally happy with. Mate, continue to get on with it with your family and enjoy every single moment of it. To check out Eric's story and his progress on his FJ40 as he continues to bring it back to life in its former glory, check out his YouTube page. He's got a few great little clips on there that I've shared some with you today and a full write-up on I Hate Mo. Check out this location here. Right on, Eric, keep up the great work with your family. It's great to see that your daughter's in there giving you a hand. Awesome. Thanks for letting me share your project today. Anyway, next time on Inspirations, we get to share another one of your builds and have a look at how people are bringing these incredible vehicles back to life. Until then, take care of yourselves.